What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a very special interview, and it's a very special snippet from that interview with a guy by the name of Evan Owens. If you don't know him, this, this, this is my guy, man. This dude is a go-to guy for merchandise. He's director of merchandise for Love Renaissance, and so many people in the industry go to him for his perspective. I mean, he's, he's touched merch into the millions. But not only that, he's the manager for Arsenio Archer, a platinum producer recently in... Look, man, th this is why I said I had to ask him this question. Check it out. It's the network. Now, do you recommend that people start off in one genre? Because I like everybody, especially diversity is like a huge thing, right? And I know like people, I have my opinion on it, but I would like to hear your opinion as far as if you want to have a diverse career, which way do you go? Do you start off in one genre and, and build out from there? Do you... Can you start off in many genres? And if so, how does it look? Yeah, I mean, you could start off in any genre. Um, what I would say is to, like, when you play beats for, you know, for artists or for uh, just people in general, have your own categories already set up. So have three in hip hop, have the R&B, three in, you know, reggaeton, reggae, Whatever genre it is that you're trying to get into, if you're if you're not trying to just get boxed in, you know, have three of your strongest, you know, records in a pool so that they're always ready to go and always ready to be played. Dope. Now, is that the same for an artist? Would you just have your songs like they're all in different categories and then try to push those where it fits? Is they're diverse or would you start an artist off if you have if you were managing artists in, in one particular spot? Mm. For artists, I would say it's, it's, it definitely is a little bit more biased or a little bit more different, you know what I'm saying? So okay. I would say it's a start in, in a genre just because as consumers, we always categorize people in a space anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah. it's fairly challenging to, from off the gate, just do uh, you know something left field and then try to jump in another lane. Um, it's a lot tougher. Because, you know, your name, whatever that visual looks like is where people would associate you, mm -hmm. you know, in a certain lane. So definitely, I would say genre on um, on the artisan. It's the network. All right. So if you want to see that full interview, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. But one thing that I got to note, man, is I love the fact that Evan, like the, when you ask him questions, man, he's always going to tell you like the real, never just some BS fluff answers. And he really gets subjective with things. So the fact that he talks about the fact that producers, right, they have the ability to be a lot more diverse at the beginning and be successful, particularly when we're thinking about placements and things like, like that in the background versus artists. Because artists are, you know, they're, they're going out to the, the, the consumers, right? These are the fans outside of the industry where, the, where a lot of producers, they're working within the industry, the professional world. And it's a lot more about truly delivering on that talent, right? That skill, creating that type of music and production. If it's good for an artist, it's good for an artist. They'll use that. But for an artist, once you get into people's minds, right, the, the consumer's minds as one thing, they tend to kind of try to pigeonhole you. And I know artists don't like that from a diversity standpoint, but you can evolve out of that. Whereas trying to just be t too diverse in the beginning, I've talked about that a lot, so I'm not going to go too crazy on that here, but trying to be too diverse in the beginning, it can confuse people and limit your impact. So one thing I'll say is one thing that I've seen so many people do and do successfully when we think about the Drakes, the Tory Lanes, and, and so many of those types of diverse artists is they'll use other people's music to showcase some of their diversity. They have their own pocket and main voice, but when they're on other people's stuff, right, they'll showcase some of that other pocket. They'll, they'll jump on other types of music outside their own normal production so they can show some, some of that, or they'll actually write for people outside of that genre to get that talent out there, right? So they still get to use their diversity, but they still have their main voice, their main perspective, 
that their core fan base can build around and go to them for. So keep that in mind. But once again, if you want to check out this full interview with Evan Owens, man, it's so packed with value with this guy. You can check it out at brandmannetwork.com and alert, alert. There is a merchandise course. I, I told you that he's the director of merch. There is a free merchandise with the brandmannetwork.com members in there it has been dropped go check it out if you're a member and if you aren't a member hey i hope you decide to join at some point but other than that if you like this video go ahead and like button if you like it, you might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button